always loved to work out. That's my, that's my, my passion of working out. And I always, you know, before I work out, I always say my prayers. I always go and say a prayer by myself. And I always used to ask God, why is it so into me to work out and not be out, you know, doing what most of my friends used to do? Later on in life, he really he showed me I had a bad accident. I worked at a copper refinery, and uh, my job was a rotary operator. It's a very dangerous job because of the, the furnace itself and the material that you put into the furnace. When I, when I put my first pan into the rotary, it blew up. One of my coworkers uh, finally caught up with me. He said that my arms peeled like banana peelings, you know, my skin just came right off. And I was out from there and then on, and I woke up like two weeks later. So I never knew how bad I was until days and days went by and I started realizing that this is bad. Just uh, scrubbing every day, twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, they will put me on a slab and scrub all the dead skin. And then one day, there was a piece of meat hanging out of my forearm, and I asked the doctors, what is this hanging out of my forearm? And then it was like 20 doctors ran over, and they all looked at nurses and everything, and they had to cut off this hand. My first prosthetic was not successful. It was, I wouldn't even wear it because it was just, it would fall off me. It was very embarrassing. I had to hold it up and hold it on. I always wanted to come to Sablish. To me, I knew that was where I should be. I mean, by my heart, I knew that, that that's where I need to be and where I would need, uh, I would get what's comfortable for me, what's good for me, and they would listen to me, to, to my needs, uh, to what I want, how I live my life. I, I went through other places before, and it was the same thing. They would not listen to me, and they would not listen to my knees or how I felt or, or uh, how I performed. They would get upset. Uh, it's, just, it's just, you know, I could not work with those people. My, my process is the type that he would sit and he would listen to me and he will, will like uh, do a, a, like analyze me, like, you know, to know just what this person wants and what he's looking for and what's going to help him. And, and uh, that's what I like because he, he was very patient and very, very uh, caring and, and giving. The socket is the most important thing about a prosthetic, is that that's the fitting. And, and uh, Savage did very, very, very well with that. I mean, I was, I was very satisfied, very surprised, and I was very happy, and, and uh, I knew I could, I could live with it. It's a challenge, and life is a challenge, you know? Every day you wake up, it's a challenge. And, uh, and it's something that I know that I could beat, that I will beat, and I'm gonna always beat it. Only through God, I, could, I couldn't do it without Him. I couldn't live through this accident without Him. You always gotta put God first, and He will show you the, the way.